Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical, and today for you guys, I have some very exciting Kingdom Hearts news and information. So, very recently, Square Enix put up their Jump Fest lineup for 2016. Technically, it's called Jump Fest 2017, but that's really how they kind of name their events. So, for example, of course, last year's Jump Fest was named 2016, so of course, this year's Jump Fest is 2017. So, along with Square Enix's lineup, they have confirmed that both Kingdom Hearts 2.8 and Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 for PlayStation 4 will both be present at this year's Jump Festa and will both have brand new trailers to display at the actual show. So yes guys, that's correct, we're going to be getting some brand new Kingdom Hearts trailers this month for the month of December, which is absolutely fantastic. I'd say that this is probably going to be the very final event where we see some Kingdom Hearts stuff for this year. Um, and then of course, past then, it will be 2017 and we'll be starting a brand new year. And of course, there's so much to look forward to. Jump Fest is happening from December 17th to December 18th. So it's really not too far away. It's pretty much just around the corner. And I gotta say, I'm super, super excited, especially to see a, uh, another trailer for Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 for PlayStation 4. I really wanna see the actual games being played in the trailer, so some actual gameplay, especially of Kingdom Hearts 2 and even Kingdom Hearts 1 running 60 frames per second, that would be super fantastic. Because, you know, we're all about that smooth, buttery 60 frames per second. It's also going to be interesting to see if Square Enix actually present any new content in amongst Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 for PlayStation 4. I find it very unlikely and I think that the only real changes that are going to take effect for the PlayStation 4 version of the remixes will of course be the 60 frames per second and of course like Shinji Hashimoto has explained there's going to be a slight graphical improvement. In terms of some brand new content like a secret boss fight for KH2 or a few more mini games to Kingdom Hearts 1, I find that very very unlikely. I think it's going to stay original to its roots just with a few technical improvements which is exactly what we should expect. Of course like I mentioned Kingdom Hearts 2.8 will also be at Jump Festa and it is also getting a brand new trailer. I'd say it's very likely that this will be one of the final trailers for Kingdom Hearts 2.8 There'll probably be either one or two more trailers for 2017 shortly before the actual release of the game, but um, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what Square Enix have up their sleeve to show us, you know, sort of even more so of 2.8. I think at this point in time, we've seen a lot of 2.8. We've seen a decent amount of Kingdom Hearts key back cover. We've seen a decent amount of 0.2 birth by sleep, especially uh, with getting the opening cinematic. We've uh, played the demo. We've seen uh, a bunch of different screenshots. So it's really going to surprise me as to exactly what Square Enix can show to us that uh, will surprise us when Jump Festa comes around, especially because of the fact that we've already seen so much of 2.8 already. Now, I know you guys are thinking, Kingdom Hearts 3, will it have an appearance in December at any event, including Jump Festa and possibly the PlayStation experience that's happening very, very shortly? The answer to that is most likely not. We already know that Tetsunomar has confirmed that more Kingdom Hearts 3 stuff will be coming after the release of Kingdom Hearts 2.8, which means uh, pretty much uh, end of January onwards, so likely to be in February, we might actually see something to do with Kingdom Hearts 3. But, uh, I mean, most of you guys should probably know this, I think it's very unlikely that we will see any Kingdom Hearts 3 for the remainder of this year. But what is to look forward to is, of course, the remixes on PlayStation 4 and Kingdom Hearts 2.8 at Jump Festa. Gotta say I'm pretty excited and I cannot wait to see what Square Enix will present to us fans for that one final blast of 2016. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and until next time guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.